welcome back to Let's Go Live. It's Magic Week, episode 37. I'm Maddie. I'm Greg, and all together now, we are live! You can join us here in our spare room studio, 11am out on weekdays. You sure can, uh, for a show of fun facts and magic. Magic. Yes, uh, activities for you to try after the show. Ah. Uh, what are the activities? They are magic. Magic, indeed. This week, uh, we'll be explaining the awesome science behind some of the magic tricks we show you. But for others, we'll leave them unexplained to leave you in a state of wonder. 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 Isn't that right, Greg? Yes. Greg? It, yes, it is. <laughs> Maddie. Oh, interesting. Ma Ma <laughs> Maddie? I guess, uh, I guess you might be wondering what these are. Well, um, these are ambigrams and an ambigram spells out a word uh, that can be read from different viewpoints so you've got wonder here flip it and it still says wonder how cool is that love them so so much yeah uh, they're very clever they're a little bit like a mirror yeah mm -hmm. uh, because mirrors help us see the world from different angles from different views mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes they really mess with my mind <laughs> mirrors can be quite quite mind-boggling. Uh, today's theme is mind-blowing mirror magic and we're super happy to have Dr. Matt Pritchard as a, he is a science magician and a curator of wonder and he'll be joining us at the end of the show for our special showtime performance. Nice one. Uh, yeah. He also designed these ambigrams in yeah, fact and so some cool. of the mirror tricks that we'll be showing you during the show so uh, thank you buddy. Cheers Matt. All right then let's see who's joining us in the live chat today. Who's Hello, with us? Hello live chat. Uh, who have we got? We well, have got we have uh, Anea in Sutton Coalfield. Uh, watching for the first time. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Uh, we've got Lilia and Fina from Brighton. Well, we have Katana in Malaysia. Oh, Malaysia. Hello. Hello. Uh, we've got Veda in Wolverhampton. Hi. Theo in Ogmore by Sea. Uh, we've got Amelia in Chertsey. Luke and Clara in Wiltshire. Hello. Max in Stockport. Uh, Molly in York. Hi, Molly. Uh, Sophie, Julia and Xander in Hertfordshire. Hello. Thank you all. And of course, if you're not with us live, it's lovely to have you watching back later. Hello. Watching thank you back so much. later, people. Um, we should also thank you for all of your emails and photos that you've been sending in. We've have had a couple of owls two this week yeah, which has been really quite nice yeah, pecking on the window yeah headwind causing issues <clears throat> but turns out you are all potion masters in the making let's see some of the pictures you have been sending in uh here we have chloe and ellie chloe used her magical powers to trap her sister ellie in a glass she even dressed up for the occasion <laughs> uh, here is ophia who had a go at making her own lava lamp using red coloring and oil uh, Patrick and Eleanor, they both got trapped in a glass in their garden too. Uh, I got next. Got, we, have Del uh, we have Delilah. Uh, Delilah was making potions in the kitchen with her dad using bicarb of soda. Uh, and here's Willow <laughs> and Ottilie. They got trapped inside a witch's jar that's being <laughs> guarded by this huge spider. <laughs> <laughs> That is a really creative one. Um, and here we've got Evan, who made his own lava lamp by adding blue food colouring to a jar of vegetable oil. Nice one. Lovely. Aren't you lot a magical bunch? Yes. Aren't you? You're going to yeah. be, uh, we're going to be showing more of your photos at the end of the show. We're also going to be telling you what's happening next week as well. And that involves you. So yes. stick around for that one. Uh, what are you up to, Maz? We are live. And yeah, I'm just looking in the mirror. So. What, got something stuck in your teeth? No, 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 no. This is our magic mirror. All oh. you have to do is ask it a question and it will reveal the answer. Right. Come on, Greg. Okay. Magic mirror. <laughs> of course. All right, well, let's uh, let's ask it then. What are we going to go to first? Um, um, okay, then. So let's find out what our first trick is. Okay, let me switch We've got mirror to... cam, right? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, then. Um, mirror, mirror, what can you see? What's our first trick going to be? What's it gonna be? F funny, funny face. face. What? Funny. funny what are you? Who are you calling rude. funny face mirror? I I think our magic mirror might be broken actually. Or I, or I it's what the first trick is. Oh, I see what you did there. All right, actually, Greg, you can start this one off. Oh, it's me. Okay, <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Hang on, I've got to get the mirror out. <laughs> Wait until you see this. We've been having a right giggle playing with mirrors. Okay, hang on. <laughs> ah. I'm zooming us in. I'm going to zoom us in a little bit. Look at that. That really is a very funny face. <laughs> right. Can I have a go? Yeah, Can go I have a try? Yeah, have a go. Yeah, have a go. All right, I'm going to do one over here. As so well. the mirror is reflecting one side of your face. <laughs> I love the double tongue. 
<laughs> Hang on, maybe I can make my mouth disappear. Go on, try it. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> Oh, uh, right. Let's have a think what's about, happening here? about what's going on. So yes. a mirror is a smooth surface. Yes. And uh, what we get is it shows objects. It goes, mm -hmm. it shows images of objects that are near to it. Right. right. So we call the image that we see in a mirror a reflection. Mm -hmm. Now, reflections happen when light hits a surface and it bounces off. We actually talked about this um, earlier in the week when we mm -hmm. said that all objects reflect light. They bounce them back towards your eyes. And that is actually how you can see them. Right, so when you stand in front of a mirror or you put your face up to it like this, <laughs> um, here's what happens. Your body reflects patterns of light. So your body is reflecting patterns of light to the mirror. Now those patterns of light bounce off the mirror and then they go into your eyes yeah. and your re your brain reads these patterns of mi uh, patterns of light as an image of yourself or your face in the mirror yeah mirrors basically reflect light in a special way yes right absolutely. so light's coming in bouncing off you in that maddy pattern it hits mm -hmm. the mirror it then bounces off the mirror to your eye yeah. and you're kind of creating what we call a line of symmetry with that mirror on your face yes yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely i mean they sort of do weird things with reversing stuff as well have you got, got me in it i can try yeah, yeah th this go. is why mirrors are a little bit weird so i'm gonna wave with my right hand yeah but in the mirror image greg mirror greg is waving with his left hand so strange if i wave with real greg's left hand mirror greg is waving with right hand <laughs> so when our face the reason our faces look weird in the mirror when we do it like this when we position it here you go um is because we are seeing one side of our face twice this mirror is uh, making my face symmetrical and things that are symmetrical are this is so strange things that are symmetrical are the same on both sides this mirror is making a line of symmetry and is reflecting one side of my face but when you see this half of the face plus the reflected side of the face you see a whole face but it's weird so you know we are normally symmetrical people right we've got two eyes we've got two ears uh we've got two arms two legs but they're not identical. No. But when you create that symmetry, that's why it looks weird. Right, should we zoom back out again? Yes, let us, because actually we've got quite a couple, we've got a few um, fun little things you can do to play with symmetry. Yeah, shall we show them, uh, show them one of them? Yeah, okay. Here's something we tried earlier in the long mirror. This is fun, here yeah. we go. Wait, here comes up. Oh, both of my legs coming up. <laughs> both of my arms, I'm flying. And I'm back. It's a classic. It's a classic. It's You've got to try it though. It's a classic. Change your rooms at shops and things. Okay. All right. Ooh, so we're going to show you another one now. These are. We're going to show you how to make some double fingers. Take a look at this. Some alien fingers. All right. Hang on. Let's switch. I'm just going to gonna move the magic mirror out the way. Look at that. Okay. Oh. Let me focus. And. Whoa, what's going on? Double alien fingers. Wait. Actually, I've got an idea. I'm going to make them look even weirder. How about if I put some googly eyes on them? All of them? How about, yeah, why not? What if you go higher? Can you shoot from higher up as well? There you go. Ah, oh, look how strange that is. I love that. Those are alien fingers. Have a go at Brilliant. making your own alien fingers with a mirror at home. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. No. Um, also, mirrors and symmetry are really cool and super interesting. So you could actually go, you're right there. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Still, still got the alien fingers yeah. stuck on. Um, you could go for a bit of a, a real world mirror magic uh, experience. You could go on a symmetry search yeah. in your garden or the local per uh, uh -huh. local, per local park. <laughs> uh, and you can try to find things that are symmetrical. Yeah, so you can find loads of examples of symmetry out in nature. So look for things like uh, a leaf, in fact. Okay. Greg. Have a look at this leaf. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Can you see how it's symmetrical? It's actually it's already got that line of symmetry almost drawn onto the leaf for us hasn't it but there is a way that you can actually check the symmetry so okay. if we go to yeah. desktop yeah sure i'm just gonna pop the other mirror yeah, down yeah. and okay. i put a mirror on this like this <gasps> yeah ah. you can see it you see it still looks the same right so this shows us that we have 
this uh, this line of symmetry. Yes, yeah, so if you go out into the into your garden or into the park and you look for uh, examples of nature, you can check it with a little mirror like that. That's just a little old makeup mirror. Um, and you know, if you do find examples, you could always make yourself um, a symmetry collage of the bits and pieces that you find. Nice idea. But there are so many examples. In fact, we can show you a couple of them. Um, check out this. This is a maple leaf, and you can see how beautifully symmetrical that is. Uh, then you've got this butterfly. Mm. It's a viceroy butterfly. Yeah, viceroy. Viceroy butterfly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and how about this one? This was my favourite because I only found out yesterday that all crust crustaceans are symmetrical. That's a crab. So think about a lobster too. You can always split them down the middle and they are the same on both sides. So maybe try that. Go on mm. a symmetry search in the garden or the local park and see what you can find. As Maddie said, make mm. a little scrapbook of pictures or something yeah. as well. And definitely grab the mirror and try a lot of these little tricks that we're showing you. Try to fly on the <laughs> mirror. Alien try, fingers. Try making alien fingers. <laughs> All right then. So we've had alien fingers. We've had yes. floating bodies, uh, yes. symmetrical we've butterflies. Funny faces. It, it, what, what next? What next? Um, let's ask the, let's ask okay. the mirror. It is time for let's our next, uh, next trick. All right. All right, we have to we have to say the magic words though, of course. Say the magic words, I'll go to mirror. Right. Now. Mirror, mirror, what can you see? What's our next trick going to be? What's pa pass the loo roll. What? I, I really do think our magic mirror I'm might good. be broken. I'm good right now, thanks. <gasps> Wait. Thanks, mirror. No, 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 no. It's us. It's giving us a clue again. It Strange is, that. It is time for our next trick. It is. Strange. Oh, it's almost yeah. like, here's a loo roll I prepared earlier. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got something really fun to show you. This is we'll a little bit weird. This might mess with your mind as much as it's messed with mine. So take a look at this loo roll. Let me put this up to the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's put it down so it's like in front of my shirt. There we go. Got right. yeah. And like that. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. This has an arrow cut into the top, right? So you should be able to see an arrow pointing in one direction. Yes. Now, which way is the arrow pointing for you watching this? That way. Yes, the Show arrow is pointing Show us your fingers. Way. Which way is it pointing? It's pointing that, that way. way. But for me, the arrow is pointing this way. No. Okay, now it's kind of because they kind of act like okay. a mirror, but let's okay. try this between the two of us. Right. Okay. If I hold this between the two of us, yeah. for me, the arrow is pointing that way. No, no, no. It's pointing this way. No, no, no. No, it's pointing that way. It is definitely pointing this way. Okay, hang on. Look, I'll flip it around. Okay. Mine's... It's that way. Mine's... Hang on. What is going it's on just because here? This is a kind of a magical arrow. Okay. Right. Let's uh, let's pause a second. Let's right, go then. back to a normal arrow. Okay. Right. And uh, and look at it in the mirror. Here you are. So I'll hold this here. Uh, let's go to your desk cam. Okay. How let's about that? Cam. All right. Okay. So here's a normal arrow. Right. Yeah. It's normal arrow. That way. Yes. Yes. So normal arrow pointing this direction. And the Got reflection you. of it in the mirror here is also pointing the same direction. Absolutely. Which is what we would expect a mirror to it do. It is what we would expect. It's a mirror image. It, yeah. So mirrors are weird. Like it, you kind of get the right hand, left hand thing. It flips things one way, but not the other way. Got but, you. But for this mm -hmm. uh, uh, desk cam, you can see that this arrow pointing this way, the arrow points the same way in the reflection. Yes. But let's now put this cardboard arrow in. All right. So Hang on. Turn it, see, there you go. There you go. Good. Right. Now this arrow is pointing this way. Yeah. Agree? Yeah, I agree. But the reflection arrow is pointing this way. What? This is a weird... Hang on. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Oh, yeah. Turn it around. That's a good idea. Right, uh, should Hang we point in the other... What? 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 If you want to have extra fun with this... Hang on. I dropped it, but I can get it again. If you want to have extra fun with this, you can paint it. Right? What? So you can you can definitely see now that that arrow is pointing that way, but the mirror arrow is pointing the other Go way. Go on, turn it round again. Spin it round. Well, it's, hang on, I just flipped the cardboard round, but the arrow is still pointing the same this way. This is so mind, mind boggling, mind blowing. Love that. Yeah. Just th that wasn't a fact bomb. That was no, a that mind, was a mind, mind blown. blown. That was a okay, mind but blown. But we should tell you why this is. So actually, it's all to do with the shape that we have cut out in the top of the toilet roll. We call this an ambiguous shape. Why is that? It's an ambiguous shape because it can yeah. be viewed in different ways. Uh, yeah. It's kind of got this magic mirror behavior. Mm -hmm. um, Good Should we show though. them how to make yes, their ambiguous arrow at home? It's really, really simple yeah, to make your own cam. one. Okay, you got yeah. it in? Yeah. Great, all right then. So to make your own ambiguous arrow, you need to get yourself a toilet roll. And first thing, just squish it in half. And then uh, ask a grown-up to help you with the scissors. But you make one cut 
about a centimeter long or about the length of your thumbnail like this you can see that mm -hmm. and then from the top of the first cut you cut round round the toilet roll until you get to the bottom of that second cut like so and then you start at the top of that second cut and then you cut round and down to the bottom of the first cut that you made just like so and you have yourself and just like that you have yourself uh oh can i show you an ambiguous arrow that's it i mean that was a quick make but you can make yeah cool here you go if um if you want like step-by-step -step instructions to make that mm -hmm. i'm going to flash this up for a second and you can just go back and pause this on the camera okay try again there you, go. Uh, there you go i'm just going to leave that and take it away cool oh there you go right you can go back and have a look at that and show you how to make cuts things do start to get really weird though when you put multiples of these uh together and even if you try spinning them in front of a mirror then they look really odd got a little video actually of this happening okay so we've got lots and lots of those on uh, on something that spins Right. And first you'll notice when they spin, they kind of go in weird directions, but then also look in the mirror. They are going the opposite direction, but then they're changing directions. And oh, my <laughs> goodness me. Once more. All right, then. Well, before this happens too often, I think we should move on to our next trick. So you know what that means. Let's we ask. need to ask the magic Let's mirror. Ask the magic mirror. Maddie, uh, the magic mirror has gone. Uh, the magic mirror? is missing. I see why. Mm, why? It's almost like we planned it. It is, it'll, it's right. almost. It's a missing mirror. Which just happens to be the name of our first camera trick today. Greg, uh, cue the called, music. It's called the missing mirror. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got doing this, aren't we? The missing mirror, no, the, the camera trick dance. I don't know why we started doing that. Why does it become a dance? <laughs> the missing mirror. What's gonna happen in the mirror? Where is our mirror? Oh, I was gonna play with it. It's missing. Um, right, so we call this the missing mirror and we have a photo to show you. This is what you're going to try to achieve. Here it is. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here this it is. This is Greg out in our garden. Whoa, Ooh. hang on. What happened there? So we have used a mirror to make it look like one of Greg's body parts is missing. And in the case of that photo, it was his face. But actually, it doesn't just look like his face is missing. We think it looks like something else, don't we? Yeah, I, I think it looks like a window, like through me or a portal. Yeah. Right? Like a magical looking glass. Like a magic glass. looking glass straight mm -hmm. through. It's like... Where's that bit of your body gone? Huh. Yeah. But I have I think these photos look particularly like mystical and magical, so we'd love you to try them at home, but of course you need to know how to do it. So here we are. Today, Magical Makers, we are going to be exploring the art of the missing mirror. Now, for this camera trick, all you need is a subject. Mine Hi. is Greg, or someone to take your photograph. And then you need a camera or a grown-up with a smartphone. Now, the only prop you need is a mirror, and Greg's got one right here. So the missing mirror camera trick works best when you're somewhere where whatever your background is is similar to whatever is in your foreground. So this is great because right there, we saw there was sort of like a yellowy bush, but then in front of us, we have another yellow bit of greenery. So this should work quite well. All right, so Greg, what, uh, what's your missing part going to be? I'm gonna go for my head. Go for the face. All right then, okay, so now we just have to line it up. This is tricky because as the photographer, I don't want to appear in the mirror. Okay, Greg, can you move yourself to your left, please? Sure. <laughs> to the left, and... Oh, sorry, that was my right, was your it. left. Actually, you know what, can you crouch down? I think you need to be a bit lower so you're actually in front of, here we go. Now, can you twist your body to your right? Two stop. Nice. Three, two, one. <gasps> okay. Behind Greg, you can see there is sort of like the yellow and green bush and in front of Greg, what's being reflected in the mirror is another green and yellow bush. Okay. Three, two, one. We've got it. We've got it. Okay. All right then. Greg, come to click at these. So good. It works really well, doesn't it's it? It's like the mirror is this portal. Mm -hmm. Like like that's almost making me invisible. Yes. You're seeing through to what's behind me. I love it. Yeah, like a gateway into another world. Super magical. So if you want to try the missing all oh, the missing mirror camera trick, give it a go and please do send us your photos. Back to you guys in the studio. 
we I really really like how that one turned out it might be my favorite one of the week I actually think it might be mine as well possibly I think it's kind yeah. of like the coolest um, yeah. it's the one that anyway I want to share it so if you do take your own missing mirror photos then please do send them to us at our email address which is hello let's go live at gmail.com it is yes we, we would love to see them also uh, if you want to share them on social we love it if you share stuff on social these are our uh, handles on Twitter and Instagram we use the hashtag let's go live right it is time for our last trick and the great thing is we don't actually need a, a mirror for this one instead we're going to pretend there is an imaginary mirror for a little game we're going to have a go at mirroring each other's actions yes all right so greg i'd like you to face me put your hands up but they're not going to be touching and i want you to tr pretend to be my mirror image i am your mirror image you are oh i didn't know i looked like that <laughs> okay ready yes Oh, oh, the concentration. Hey. Oh, catch up. That's catch a up, lot mirror faster image. than we did in the rehearsal. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Try it with them. Try yeah, it with them. All right. So why don't you lot play at home? So get close, closer, closer to the screen if you want to. We're going to start with our hands up and be my mirror image. You ready? Okay. Hands up to the screen. Matt, move, uh, move this way a little bit. Should I go even not? Okay, there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And here we go. Good. How are we doing? Are you doing it to the screen? Ooh. Keep watching. Ooh. Nice work. Oh, that was <gasps> that was a sneaky one. It was. It was. Oh, touching the nose. <laughs> Love it. Other hand. Last one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How did you do? I bet you absolutely aced it. <laughs> but we're going to do this again. Uh, but this time. I'm like, Greg, we're actually going to do it, but we're going to touch a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So this this time we do it, we're going to hold our hands up again, start in this position. Our fingertips are touching. We're going to do it, but we're going to close our eyes. Okay. So if you try this at home, I want you to tell us whether you think it's easier or harder to do when you're closing your eyes. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. So I, this time I'm not doing it using my sense of sight. No. This time I'm doing it using my sense of touch yeah absolutely did you find that harder or easier i found that easier ah. of course we could only do the things we were actually you know we couldn't do these yeah, things, but yeah of course yeah i definitely found that easier yes for sure. and there's a reason for that actually because our sense of touch is super super quick it, yeah, it have... works loads faster than our sense of sight. Sight, mm -hmm. and that's why it's really good if you if you accidentally touch something warm. Yeah, right. You can quickly take your hands away before you realise what you've done with your eyes. So your sense of touch is faster than your sense of sight. Very helpful. Okay. Very helpful. So now we've done all of that. We've set the scene. We're going to show you our final trick before we see our showtime performance yes. from Matt Pritchard. Right, Greg, you are going to be my subject for this. You ready? Yes. Okay, so this is something called the rubber hand illusion. I'm going to uh, play with your mind a little bit here. So I'm just going to get up off the chair. Okay. And I'm going to so move the microphone a little bit to this for here. For this, you need, yeah. um, you need like a tray or a board, just a mm -hmm. bit of cardboard. Yeah, we've just used the lid of a box. Yeah. Right, Greg, I want you to put place one hand on this side of the lid. Yes, Fantastic. Like this. And I want you to place the other hand on this side of the lid. Like this. All right, hang on. Great. Camera that's going to cover this. I think it's this camera. Yes, cool. Fantastic. And now I'm going to place. It is a. It's actually a plastic hand that we have left over from a Halloween. So do you want to hold that there? I do, yes. It's lovely. So that's it. Put your other hand down next to it. And I'm going to place a scarf. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, Here gosh, go. this is a tricky one. So I've got a scarf that's yes. just covering both hands. Right, so we can create the illusion now that these are both of your hands. Okay, so we've got okay. our fake hand, and we've got your real hand here, and we've got your other hand over here. I'll just say, if you do try this, um, you could use a glove. Yeah. Right. So you need your board, your cardboard or whatever. Um, we happen to have a rubber hand from Halloween, but you could just use a glove, like a, a winter glove that you filled with cotton wool or mm -hmm. even cardboard. Or you could use a rubber glove that you'd like yeah. clean up the like dishes with or whatever. If you do use a, a stuffed glove, then you want to make sure that your hidden hand, which is the one on the other side of the box, is also wearing the glove. OK, that's why you've put the. That's exactly. That well. I'm creating gotcha. the illusion here. And then the last thing is, if you're the person that's trying this, uh, you don't want to see that hand. No. Right. So you need to kind of like duck down behind like this. Okay, yes. Matt, I'm ready. Okay, so Greg is now looking at this hand and his fake hand, and he's ignoring this hand over here, the one that I'm pointing at with a paintbrush. 
Now, Greg, if you can give me a little bit more space, what I'm going to do is I am going to, using a paintbrush, I'm going to stroke both your right hand and the fake hand at the same time. <laughs> okay? So just, you just keep looking down at both hands. Okay? Yep. All right. Stretch. So we did this a little bit, we did this earlier. And it yeah. can take a bit of time for the effect to kick in. It's done it quickly this time. Has it? Yeah. So what's really weird, uh, where are you? Over what's there? happening? What's really weird is that starts to feel like it's my hand. Really? Because I'm feeling exactly the same as what I'm seeing. So you're telling me that your fake hand is beginning to feel like it's part of your body. Yes. So it's what we're really doing here weird. is we're actually playing tricks on your brain. Right. So what's happening is your senses are competing with each other. Yeah. Because your sense of proprioception, which yeah. is a sense we did speak about in Bodies Week. Episode 10. Yeah. Episode 10, Super <laughs> Senses. That was fun, that one. Your sense of proprioception is telling you, uh, it, it, it basically, it's your sense of where a body part is in a space. Yes. So your sense of proprioception is telling you that your actual hand is over there. Right. But your sense of sight is telling you that your hand here. is down here. Yeah. Okay. And then this is also influencing your sense of touch, which is getting confused. So your brain is getting all of these mixed signals and it's having to put them together and to, and to form an answer, to form a solution. Okay. Right. Gotcha. So if I just hang on, just do a couple more. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That just totally freaked me out because I thought that was my hand. Sorry, I didn't tell Greg I was going to do that. I okay? got to the point of like, oh yeah, she's stroking my Sorry. hand, I get it. And then boom, the hand disappears. I was like, what? So but what happens is actually uh, your sense of sight, and uh, which influences your sense of touch, it wins over that sense of proprioception. And you can convince your brain that actually that fake hand is your own. Yeah, I got that. So there you go. That is the the rubber the rubber hand illusion. It's 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 some really cool magic. Really cool psychology. It is. It's all about psychology. What's going on in the mind? All right. Uh, I think you need a rest. After all that mind meddling, uh, yeah. I need a bit of a break. But the good news is, it's time for our. What are you doing? Is that your hand? I'm, no. It's very confused. Uh, it's time for <laughs> our special guest. Oh, round of applause. Yeah. Give 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 him a hand. <laughs> Give him, a, give him a hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right. Um, it's time to introduce mm -hmm. a wonderful magician. Yeah. Uh, a curator of wonder. He also designed the toilet roll trick that we showed you over. Please put all of your hands together, <laughs> fake ones and real ones, for the amazing Dr. Matt Pritchard. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hello. A mirror is very much like a magic trick. Because when you look in a mirror, you see a world that at first seems familiar, but then you realise something strange is going on. And that's what we're going to experience now. I've put together a collection of my favourite science tricks that use mirrors or special angles to trick your eyes. Things will vanish. Things will change. Things will appear from nowhere. All using science. No special camera tricks. No special editing. Enjoy.
Oh, yes. Whee! Thank you Love so much. That. Thank you so much, Matt. Um, right, it's time for the selfie, you lot. We are. We're getting ready over here because we thought uh, thought you might want a, a little selfie before we move on to the final part of our show. Are you okay. ready for this? Yeah, I totally am. As you can see, I've got an extra limb. Right, you lot. Um, put yourself in front of the screen or take a selfie yourself. Get ready for the awkward selfie song. I'm going. Hang on. I'm doing it. Matt, check me out. Ready? Right, hang on. I'll, I'll hold up a couple of other things as well. Mm. Like this three oh, 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 two, two one, one. It's the awkward it's selfie. Selfie. <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to do my fingers as well but i don't think it quite works oh, never mind oh that's brilliant good job great all right then so i love all the comments in the live chat Which watching the video watching matt's videos being like huh what that's amazing how's that working mind blown yes that's what we want to do this week explain lots of things yeah tell you how lots of things work and then show you some stuff that we don't explain love it all right then so before we tell you what's going to be happening next week uh let's see some more of your potion pictures from yesterday's show uh here is a great one from charlotte she had lots of fun experimenting with color separation and she loved the way all the washing up liquid made the colors in the milk move Bridget and Miranda made these lava lamps and they made them look really spooky by using Halloween decorations as props. Nice. Miriam and Abby, they enjoyed an afternoon of potions, mixing phoenix blood, troll skin and powdered unicorn skin, all sorts of magical things. Is <laughs> Silvia experimented with stain remover, tablets she ground into powder, salt, kids body wash, vinegar, bike off, lots of different things to test what was acid and what was alkali with those mm. potions that we showed you yesterday. Cool. Edie Gray, she was making trolls brain juice yesterday using red cabbage. And last up, here's Isabel. We've had a go at making magic milk and wrote her own list of all the things that she would need. Oh, well done, Isabel. That's so great. Nice and independent. We love that. Um, so thank you as always. We love seeing your uh, pictures and of course your videos of magic tricks yeah. as well because tomorrow you are going to be our special guest uh, performers for our showtime at the end of the show. Cannot wait for that. Uh, if you want to send any pictures or videos, boom, there's the email address that you send them to. Oh, uh, why thank you. Right then. So next week, Greg, what's going on? Oh, all right. Let me put a bit of music on. Let me put oh, a bit okay. of music on. I always like to do this at the end of the show. Just you know, wrap us up a little bit. There we go. Right, next week. Uh, lots of you who are based in the UK already know that uh, not only is it a bank holiday on Monday, uh, but also half term next Woo! week. Yeah. Um, but we didn't want to take a full week off Let's Go Live. We couldn't help ourselves. No. So instead, we're bringing you two very special episodes. On Wednesday, we are going to finally be doing the very highly requested behind the scenes video of Let's Go Live. Let's call it Let's Make Let's Go Live Live. Very, we will very still be complicated. Live we'll go with it. Making very meta. Um, we're going to show you the cameras. We're going to show you the lights. We're going to show you the tech. We're going to show you our little spare room. We're going to show you how we do everything that we do on the show. Yes, so that's next Wednesday, normal time at 11 a.m. Yes. And the second very special show is going to be on Friday. And it, again, it's going to be all about you. Uh, we've been inspired by a show called Taskmaster. Mm. So we are going to set you some half-term challenges, some half-term tasks. And we want you to have a go at them, film them and send them in. But we're going to reveal what those tasks, those challenges are to you in tomorrow's show. And you are excited about tomorrow's show, aren't you, Mads? I'm very excited because tomorrow is my Magical creatures. Yes. Yes. Very, very excited. All right, before we say goodbye, let's say goodbye to a bunch of people in the live chat. We have Nia in Leicester. And uh, we have Caitlin in Harrogate. Joshua. Who else do we have? Uh, uh, Finn, Finn and Henry. Henry. You've got them Sorry. In Streatham. Uh, Sam and Emma in Norwich. Hi. Um, we have Jenna in Belfast. Uh, Joshua was from Whitenshaw, by the way. Uh, we've got <laughs> Bodie in Surrey. Uh, we have Rosalind in Peaceborough. Harry and his dad in Great Yarmouth. Hello. Alice in Durham. Florence and Madeline in Poynton. Hello, Hello everyone. and hello to everyone else. Sorry we can't just read out names for, <laughs> for half an hour, uh, but you're all brilliant. Thank you. Thanks to everyone watching back later on in the show as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button, click the bell. You'll get a notification whenever we go live. As always, stay curious and we'll see you tomorrow at 11. Bye. Bye.